everyone. Hope you've been doing well. Today we've got two very popular sandwich style ITX cases. This is our Silver Dan A4 version 3, which I've had quite a while. And this is a fairly recent acquisition, a Loki Ghost S1 in the ash color. This particular one is said to be from build three or batch three rather. Normally more of a silver case or lighter color case person recently, but I really like this ash color in combination with this optional vented top here in copper. So basically we are going to be doing more of a transplant than a fresh build from the contents of our Dan A4 into the Loki Ghost S1. And then in the future, we will probably do some experimenting with the top hats offered for the S1 because that's really the, the unique feature of this case, the, the solid build quality, um, the milled aluminum, and the fact that you can really change your change up your cooling options by adding some height with the top hats or I believe even you can attach these to the bottom side of the case. So let's get started. Before we do that, today we're going to be removing the 2600 CPU in favor of the 3000 series Zen 2. 3700X a core processor. But before we do that, I actually already upgraded the BIOS to 2703 um, to support the new 3000 series Zen processors. However, just after doing the update and rebooting the PC, it no longer is posting. So we're just going to kind of wing this one and see if it posts after swapping in the 3700X. Um, have not done any troubleshooting with that since just updating the BIOS, but if we need to pull a RAM stick, reset the BIOS, or whatever we can come up with to get this thing running, we will do that. So let's get started. All right, guys, I'm back. It's actually a couple days later. Um, build did not go as planned right off the bat. That BIOS update actually did brick my motherboard. Tried several different things, all the common steps, reset the BIOS, reseat the RAM, try a couple different CPUs, uh, no good. Um, motherboard light, air light uh, was reporting a issue with the CPU, which there's no problem with the CPU, no bent pins, none of that. It was directly after the BIOS update. Um, it did not want to play nice anymore, so that board is on its way to Asus and RMA. And for now, and for this build, we're going to be using the B450 Gaming AC from MSI. So we are going to go forward with this build with this board. <laughs> 